This is enslavement. We can't leave. We're homesteaders. We live off the grid. We're enslaved. <laughs> Not really. Ready, Spring? Are you ready? Are you ready? I think he's ready. Yeah. I don't know where the other one is, but he, he I think he's already in the car. <laughs> he's really good that way. He like lives in the car. Okay. Dogs are ready. Let's go see if the chickens are ready. A, a fresh water. They got a, a nice uh, place to perch. They've got some foraging in there. They're protected. So there you go. The chickens are, they're ready. And then finally, oh, and there's the other dog. Are you ready to go? Yeah, he looks ready to go. <laughs> Then we just got to get the car ready. And now Mr. Hilder is coming with me on this venture. So the car's kind of getting packed up a little bit. And it's not always because of me. I travel very light. But when we car camp, um, I like to have, you know, stuff. Because, you know, when you're out in the wilderness, you don't want to run out of your stuff. Like you saw in the last vlog, I ran out of food. So I did bring extra food. I bought extra, look, I bought extra, see my figs are here and my baby food is here yeah 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 uh, but I also look at I bought little treats for the dog and we've got see stuff to drink and Mr. Hilder I already see he has to stop at the grocery store <laughs> I'm like why is that oh look at this dog <laughs> he's like he's already on vacation <laughs> <laughs> but that's what we have to do. We have to get the car ready. And uh, we are going to, we have uh, two things we're going to do. We're either going to paddle to our destination and camp along the water, or we're going to just car camp. But we always leave ourselves open. You know, leave yourselves open to interpretation. Be creative. Think outside the box. And that's what we do. Hi, and welcome to the vlog. <laughs> and uh, this could be fun and exciting because we've got the boys with us. We got our, our camping gear, and we are paddling actually uh, to our destination so I don't know if you know too many people that take a tripping canoe and uh, maybe there are people uh, but we got the boys we got mr. Hilder and <laughs> and we got beautiful scenery we're on a gorgeous lake this is a huge lake and we're gonna go find ourselves a place uh, to uh, park our head for the night Last time we came and did this, uh, we, I, I think it, what was, what was it, hon? How many years ago? It was a long, it's been more, over five years since we've done a trip like this. But Mr. Hilder's got his uh, fishing equipment because we're going to live off the land. We're going to forage and we're going to fish. <laughs> <laughs> the dogs might go hungry, but but anyway, um, you can see how beautiful the the shoreline. Okay, I think we found a spot. I'm excited. Well, we got it all set up. There's Starry's new home, and there's Mr. Hilder's new home. I've been in that home for yeah, he's been about in the it. last 15 days. <laughs> and there's Sprig enjoying. So that's how we got here is by canoe. And uh, Mr. Hilder, he, he he does like gourmet when he goes camping. Uh, instead of the bears coming to us and eating us, he eats the bear. <laughs> so he actually brought a little grill and some bear burgers tonight. Yeah. See, how I think of it is I'm on the top of the food chain, not the bear. <laughs> and so that's what I'm having for supper. That's what he's having for supper. So the, the, uh, the dogs are having so much fun. They just love it out here. And we'll, we'll probably get the fire going a little bit here. But we've got beautiful weather. And like I said, we've got an awesome camp spot here. Um, just abutted to thousands of acres of beautiful pristine wilderness and on the other side of the lake and this is this is a huge lake I mean it goes for I don't know how, how many miles Ready so I, I got all that from Mr. Hilder and he hasn't seen my fire building skills yet but we're gonna let him oh he always laughs I don't know why he laughs 
crafts. I I have I built fires while while I was out car camping by myself in the wilderness. And it was 41 degrees too. And every night I had a, a raging fire. But see, look, he's got his coffee pot over there too. See, so. at bear camp we don't dick around. We uh we just brought a chainsaw. Oh, okay. So we had a big fire. We yeah. Had, all of our firewood was like that big piece. Oh. So we had. Nice big fire. Yeah, nice big fires. Okay, so this is this is uh, the first night, and we already did a little biking, and we paddled, and now we're just gonna relax. Hang out. And hang out. <laughs> hang out. Uh, what do you call this? Off grid camping? I guess so. <laughs> we already live off grid. <laughs> Everything's off grid. Everything's off grid in our life. <laughs> So this is our our day two in the camp, and this is what we do when we are just resting. Where, where okay, so I don't know if you can see this. There's there's a jet that's flying, and behind the jet is a trail that is disappearing. See, it came from way over here. Nothing in the sky. Nothing. I would suspect that's a con trail. Oh no, Starry, you're a conspiracy theorist. And we look in the skies, and there's nothing else. Yeah, they're not seeding today. They're not seeding today. Why do all those other planes, on some days you'll see that one, and then you'll see three other ones go by at various times, and the trail stays for as yeah. far as you can see. And then it gets wider, and then they all blend together as they drift across the sky. And, and then, you, hmm. have, you have to ask yourself. Uh, yeah, I mean, legitimately, you have to ask see, yourself. That, that's the part that kills me. It doesn't make any sense. Is everybody says all right away, oh, conspiracy theory. I'm not no conspiracy theorist type character, but I I do go like this, hmm, why is that? Why that's is supposed it? to be water vapor. Yeah, that's, and it is water, water vapor because look, it disappeared. It disappeared. Well, why don't this other water vapor disappear and it lasts for yeah. all day? I know, all day. In crisscross patterns across yeah. our skies. Oh, that's just flight patterns from, you know, where they're taking people. Yeah, they're taking people. Yeah, flight patterns. <laughs> Man, who dreams up this stuff? I know. So, Come on, let's go. so we got something better to do. We, we got, yeah, we got better stuff to do than talk about con, con trails.